Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. Today I'm going to be sharing a beautiful recipe for chicken and white kidney beans. I'm serving it up with some nice parboiled rice and some sauteed bok choy. I would like to share this recipe with you all. So stick around and let us cook this together. Isn't it a beautiful combination? Some bok choy and some chicken, carrots, white kidney beans. There is so much flavor, so much nutrients, and everything going on here right now. Let us make this dish together. So to start with this recipe, we're gonna season up our chicken first, and I just went in with one tablespoon of green seasoning. This is three, about four tablespoon. This is freshly blended green seasoning. It have garlic, green onion, pepper, thyme. I'm gonna add some ginger. And I like that flavor of the ginger. If you don't like hot pepper, you can substitute for ginger because it's very good for us. And it also adds a heat to the dish. So be mindful of how much you're adding if you're not a person who can tolerate a lot of heat. Gonna go in with some black pepper. Let me know how is the weather at your end. Today is kind of a very hot, hot day. That means summer is right around the corner. We're gonna go in and add some salt, and I'll leave all the measurement and ingredients I'm using today in the description box below. For this specific dish, I'm gonna go in with some Chinese sauce and I have chief Chinese sauce. Any brand can work. This is just to add some flavor and some color to the chicken. We're gonna go in there now and mix all that beautiful ingredients together. And then we'll set this aside to marinate until we're ready with all the other preparation. So I soak my white kidney beans and I'm boiling it now until tender with a little bit of salt. Once you soak it for overnight or a few hours, they will become nice and plump and easier to boil. So even though I seasoned the chicken, I'm gonna be adding some other fresh ingredients such as onion, green onion, cilantro, hot pepper, and I'm gonna be adding one carrot in there. I'm going to thinly slice it because it always goes nice in a good chicken dish. After boiling my kidney beans nice and soft, I strain it out and leave it with a little bit of the water it was cooking in so it can remain nice and moist. As you can see, it is so soft. You can also substitute for red kidney beans or any beans of your choice. And if you're in a hurry, of course, you can go ahead with a can of any beans of your choice. So let me head on to the stove and we will put this delicious chicken, white kidney beans and carrots together. So I just added the onion to the pan. I'm gonna saute the onion for a few minutes and then I will go in with my next ingredient. I'm going in with the chicken, and the chicken is well marinated. It smells so nice as soon as I add it to the pot because the onion is already infused in that oil and everything is smelling good. So I'm going to cook this until the natural water from this chicken is completely evaporated before we go in with the next ingredient. So the water from the chicken is slowly evaporating. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then I will start adding more ingredients in here, but it starts to smell delicious. So we're gonna go in and add some carrots in there. We're gonna give it a little mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some tomato paste. The tomato paste will add a nice tanginess to the dish and give us a beautiful thick 
gravy at the finish that you can enjoy with rice, roti, or bread, or on its own. So this was requested by Matthew, and he is actually my camera person today. He's helping me out with this dish. I'm gonna go in and add my pepper, and I'm adding the pepper just as it is like that. Now we're gonna go in with some extra black pepper. Remember we already marinate the chicken with some. And we're gonna go in here now and add some salt. Be mindful because we already marinate the chicken with salt. You can always taste and add more later. We're gonna mix all that goodness. And I'm gonna go in here now and add some hot water. So just about two cup of hot water or warm water and that will help it to cook even faster instead of slowing down the process. And we're gonna go in here now and add our white kidney beans. You can add potatoes or any kind of lentils if you prefer. Always tastes nice when I add this beans inside and this was Matthew's request so I didn't want to make him unhappy. So I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes and then I'll come back to add my green onions and cilantro. While my stew is cooking, I'm gonna prepare some bok choy to go as a side with our dish today. I already clean and wash my bok choy. I leave them out one by one because sometimes there are dust or insects sitting in here. So you wanna make sure that you wash it thoroughly before you cook it to feed it to your family. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up nicely. And this can work as a main dish. It can work as a side dish. And it goes very nice with any meat or seafood in it. Our chicken and white kidney beans is looking amazing. I'm gonna go in and add my green onions right here at this point. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit more and I'm gonna turn it off because when it gets cold, all this liquid is gonna get thick, but I want to have some of that sauce to go with the rice because I'm serving it with rice tonight. So I'm chopping up some red onions because I'm gonna do a quick saute with the bok choy. I just cut it up. And I'm gonna add just two ingredients, red onions and garlic. The red onion is full with antioxidant. You can add white onion as well, but I just wanna make this a little bit different. If I were to make it as a meal, I will add a few more different ingredients, but today it's working as a side dish for me. So we're gonna add our onions to the pan with oil. And we're gonna mix that up just so it will cook and soften a bit. We're gonna go in with our bok choy now. And this is gonna all boil down. And you will wanna know where did all that bok choy went. Let's go in with our garlic. Just want a little bit of salt in here, not too much. Remember, this is working as a side dish for us today. I'm gonna really mix in all that garlic, salt, onions, and this doesn't take a lot. It smells so nice with the combination of the garlic in there and that onion. I'm gonna let it go until some of this bok choy stem is a little bit softer than it is right now and I don't want to overcook it because I want all that vitamins of the bok choy to still remain when I'm done with this dish because I add some salt in here it's going to reduce some water but that's okay if the water will help to cook those bok choy stems so this is how I'm cooking the bok choy today it is done don't overcook it because this way it is full of nutrients. My chicken and 
white kidney beans is done i'm gonna sprinkle my cilantro on top i'm gonna turn my stove off and we will be plating up in a few minutes so here it is the time we are waiting for i'm gonna dive in for some of this rice right here and some of that nice kidney beans there's a piece of carrots here so let's go in for some of the chicken carrot and some of that beans cheers guys mm. that was a big mouthful but it's a big mouthful worthy so my bok choy here is to go on the side as a side dish along with the stew because you guys know how much I love my veggies in my dishes. So a quick saute with onions, garlic, coconut oil, and just a pinch of salt. And this mouthful also goes to all the viewers. Mm. That coconut oil and the garlic that I sauteed the spinach with. It's a match made in heaven. And this is my pepper that I added to the food. Most of it is cooked into the food, but I, I had to dig up to get this piece because I like mine spicy. Guys, this really, really tastes delicious. It tastes so nice and flavorful. And you know that this have so much nutrients in here. I hope you are having something delicious and nice as well. I'm going to enjoy it. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Until then, we wanna say stay blessed, stay safe. Love you guys, bye for now.